Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome, welcome back. This will be a Vera Bradley haul from the brand new first ever Vera Bradley Hello Kitty pattern. Um, so, I got a few items. I did do a phone order from my store, the uh, Vera Bradley store at the Mayfair Mall in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, even though I live in Arizona. So, shout out to Anna and the ladies in um, Wisconsin. Thank you for always taking such great care of me. And for all of you that have been calling them too, because word's gotten back to me that some of you have been calling them as well, and they're so excited. Um, so it's fun to share in the joy of that. But anyways, um, this is a small order, but several items. I got mostly the little stuff. Um, this is kind of a throwback, even though it's a plain box, it kind of was a throwback to how Vera used to wrap their stuff. It was all tissue and uh, yeah, I just thought that was really nice touch, you know, so you're not gonna get that for an online order or anywhere, but if you call a store and you make a order with them, maybe you, you can catch things. They always send me a little note with my order and this one is no different. So it has my receipts, of course, and it has a little card. Let's see what they said. It says, here's your Hello Kitty purchase. I hope you love it as much in person as you did online. It's so cute. Thank you for purchasing with us. I hope you have a beautiful day. Love, Anna. Happy mail. So cute, cute card. Thank you. Awesome. So now that that's out of the way, let's look at the items I got. I'm just gonna set it down here on my lap. So the first item is the zip ID. And um, as I've talked about before, the advantage of making a phone order with a store is that you can potentially, assuming that they're gonna help you out, and mine always does, help you out pattern placement. So obviously not so much a pattern placement on this one. All of them have the soft face, little Hello Kitty right on the pink gingham. And the big thing was the pattern on the inside. What did you want peeking through the window? Well, I ideally I wouldn't want it to be cut off, but this was the cutest little one of the ones they had available to choose from. The other thing I will say about gingham is with any stripes or plaid from Vera, there's a high probability you will have crookedness, and I indeed do. It's more crooked on the front. Now, it's not such a crazy big deal, especially on a small piece like this, but um, if you're OCD like me, that can start to wear on you. You can just tell this top line. Oh, I dropped my box. Uh-oh. I dropped everything on the floor. But you can see the top line is really obvious. It's like thin over here and then it thickens out over there. So just seeing where it is crooked. But it looks fine. And the back is actually straighter. So funny thing. But super, super cute there. And just says Hello Kitty by Sanrio. There's a tag. It has a little thing. Like Hello Kitty, we can't think of anything better than making a new friend. This exclusive collaboration combines Hello Kitty's fun-loving spirit with Vera Bradley's bright, inviting patterns to make a collection full of fun and smiles. Yeah, and that's the little tag, so a big tag as it were. Anyway, so I got that and let me pick up the other things that I dropped. <laughs> okay, um, next item I got is the button. This is not a purchasable item, but if you're making an order on release day in the store, you get this, but even though my store is far away, they consider me a local. And um, so they always send the button if I make an order on opening day. So yay, and it is a cute little button. So I'll add that to my little collection of Vera buttons. Next item is another little, okay, cause most of my items in this order are, I'm sorry I didn't open these ahead of time. I'll put that over here. Um, but it's the cute little mini backpack bag charm. I have a bunch of these, but I think they're just super great for a lot of things. One, they're decorative little bag charm. You can put them on any bag, big or small. They work great. It has the super soft, um, kind of that velvety feel, and then the embroidery. Really cute little Hello Kitty on there, on the pink gingham. Um, there's a tag on the back that says Hello Kitty Vera Bradley and consciously crafted because it is recycled cotton, mm, whatever. But these little backpack bag charms are not only super cute and decorative, but they're also functional. So they're perfect for a hand sanitizer, um, chapstick, your baby's pacifier, maybe if you have kids. Um, they're great for AirPods or headphones or other things. You can put multiple things in. You can use them as a coin purse or a grab and go, look through your keys to make a little wallet. So many things. Now it won't quite fit um, 
a credit card, but it'll fit cash and coins, obviously. Anyway, super cute and really adorable. All right, next item. I got the double zip ID, and this is in the different pattern. So there was three patterns. There was the gingham, there was the, um, well, I would call it like the ditzy. It's not called that. I don't, I'll put the names down below because I didn't pay attention before I did this. And the tags don't have it on there. Wait, do they? I guess they probably do. Hello Kitty Gingham. Yeah, so I was right about that. And then this one, the little double zip ID, has a wristlet strap, which is sadly not removable. I really wish it had a clip on there. It should be removable. That would make sense. Um, but it does have a double pocket. Both of them zip around. So they give you really good access. And this is the Hello Kitty Bows. RFID double zip ID. So you have just Hello Kitties with bows, of course. But I love purples and teals, so hey, perfect. You don't have to worry about pattern placement on this one. And it is also the same pattern on the inside. So flowers and bows and Hello Kitty heads. And you got these two extra large zip IDs tied together, basically sewn together. They have a gusset, but you can get into them really well. There's no pockets or anything in that side. This side has the clear view, so it has the two sections. So you have the clear view section and then you have the main section. There's no other pockets in these. I'm kind of surprised they didn't add like some um, card slots or something in one or both sides of this, but, oh, I'm sorry, it does have one. I knew it did. Okay, so there's one card slot. Um, but just to kind of give it some division in there to separate your stuff. So you put your cards or your receipts or your cash or coins, whatever. But both sides are gusseted and it's a nice little piece. I think this will be a great piece for really any bag. You know, you just put it inside other things. And here's how it looks with the Hello Kitty gingham. So there you go. Actually the colors, I mean the pinks go obviously, but otherwise it's just cute. All right, next item. I got one of the t-shirts. Um, Short sleeve graphic t-shirt. Yeah, you could use it for pajama top. You can use it for regular clothes. I'm going to use it for regular clothes. And this is, well, I love purple. So yay, that's always a win. And look at the cute pattern. So it's a very definitely Hello Kitty and it has the paisley. It has the purples and teals and pink. So for me, that's a win, win, win all around. And it's a nice big size. So Hopefully this decal lasts. It feels not as stiff as you would think, but actually I'm, I'm happy with that. But I like the colors and I like it's happy. So I grew up with Hello Kitty. I don't know about you guys, but it's kind of a classic for me. Um, and then I got two more items. These are both in the same pattern. And this is the third pattern. And this is the... Trapeze Cosmetic and Hello Kitty Paisley. So the names all make sense, obviously. But I did get to pick pattern placement on this one as well, and I tried to get all the colors and no headless kitties, which I think worked out really, really well. They were so helpful with the pattern placement assistant. So I've got the three kitties. They're all blowing bubbles, in case you're wondering. Um, they're little bubble things. You can see that better on this one, for example. You got the little loop with the bubble coming out. Um, so yay. Lots of kitties in different poses, blowing bubbles. It's funny that she's blowing bubbles. Funny that they would pick that, and I say funny because it's ironic because she doesn't have a mouth, like in any depiction ever, she never has a mouth. So she's mouthless blowing bubbles. I just think that's comically ironic, but whatever. So, oh, I just noticed my um, Apple Watch kind of matches. It's a Disney pattern, but anyway. All right, so that is the Trapeze Cosmetic, which is, of course, um, the larger size of them. They do have smaller ones, but this one only came in this size. It has the loop on the end of the zipper and then your zipper extension there so that it opens up really nicely. It does have plastic lining, and it has, on one side, this is cloth lined, and then it has a plastic divider there, or I don't know if you call it a divider. It's kind of like that's a slip pocket on that back wall but this wall isn't plastic lined. I don't get that. I would have thought they'd all be, but whatever. This part is, 
and then the whole rest of it is. So like this whole interior is plastic lined and then this back wall isn't. So there you go. And the inside is of course the hello bows, the kitty bows and heads, the ditzy pattern if you will. And the outside is the paisley. So there you go. Trapeze cosmetic is the triangular shape. And I do like that the zipper extends because then it really does open up quite nicely. You can get into it and then it closes all the way across. So it's pretty good capacity. I still prefer the older styles that, you know, because it's small on the top, you have big on the bottom, small on the top, then you lose that capacity. Whereas the other ones were more rectangular, so you could actually put more things in them. It's just my opinion. But here's how those two patterns look together. I think those coordinate so much better than the gingham. The gingham's adorable, but it's kind of out there by itself. Not quite a perfect thing. Although the kitty matches, of course, and does tie it together. So you could use this as a little clutch and you could put your little bag charm on there. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm using these within other bags or just to store things. So we got that and then I got the mini notebook with pocket. There's 160 college ruled pages and it is of course super cute and I love, love, love the colors with the purple and teal in the background there and Paisley's lovely as well. So yay. Another notebook for the stack O notebooks. All right, so that is all the stuff that I got from the Hello Kitty order. Altogether, that was roughly $200 worth of stuff because no discounts, no coupons, nothing. It's all full price because it's a collaboration, limited edition, all that stuff. Um, things have sold out very quickly. I haven't been watching. I bought just the things I minimally wanted. I did want the campus backpack but I can't find that now, so I think that might be sold out as well. That's okay because I don't need any more backpacks. But, okay, what I also did was I grabbed my Jujube B sets and a bestie. Um, for, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the patterns, that's not all inclusive. Um, and I do also have Roller Disco Dreaming, which I didn't bring, that's a Tokidoki and Hello Kitty. Anyways. I brought them out so we can compare colors and what might go with what. So this one is the Bestie in Jujube Hello Kitty Sweet Petals. And it's really cute. It's a pale purple and it has the kitties and florals. I thought this would go really well with some of this. And I do think that goes quite nicely. The pink ties in nicely with those pinks. And definitely Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty. Um, and this can clip right on the side of that bag and that is really cool. I don't think this pattern goes quite as well, but this little piece, the double zip ID, would fit nicely within this piece, and I think those go very well. So that's super fun. Let me put all this aside. And then the next one is Hello Floral. If you're not familiar, these are the B-set pouches now. Um, the Bestie can be a crossbody, shoulder bag, or a backpack. You just reconfigure the straps. And it has a bunch of pockets. We've gone over them many times. I'll put a link here if you want to take a closer look at some of that on one of the Jujube videos. Um, but Hello Floral is a more floral, but you have these little Hello Kitties kind of sitting on the flowers and intermixed within the pattern. It's a really cute pattern. Definitely more pink. So when you think of things, I think that gingham just goes so perfectly with those pinks and flowers. That one is cute as well, but not as perfect. And then of course, that goes okay as well. But these are cool. And the reason I brought them out to show with my littles because I could use these all together in multiple different ways. But these three pouch sets come with a long strap and a short strap. And the large and the medium pouch both have loops on both sides. So you can carry this as a little shoulder bag or a little crossbody bag. And so that works really, really well as an option to carry your little bits in there or you can clip it on the side and have it on the outside of the item. So that's kind of the ways that I was thinking about using some of this together um, or just using um, any or all of the pieces inside larger items to, it doesn't have to match, it doesn't have to coordinate. Sometimes I'm matchy matchy, sometimes I'm mixy matchy and sometimes I'm straight up pattern palooza. But okay, so Hello Floral and Sweet Petals came out at the same time. 
And these are not in order of release, um, but this is Confetti Dreams. This is, um, is it really even Hello Kitty? No, it's really Tokidoki. But this came out with Roller Disco Dreaming, which is Tokidoki, Hello Kitty, and Friends. I'm just not seeing any Hello Kitties in here. I see kitties, but they're not Hello Kitty. But it is Hello Kitty. I mean, it's right there on the front of it. Uh, the other pattern, the Roller Disco Dreaming one, had more of the Hello Kitties. But anyway, it's really cute, and it does have a bow as, on the zipper pull. And then the other one is one of the characters. So, yay, fun. I'm going to put these tags inside here. Da -da -da. And this one matching these, I think it goes best with the bows pattern. Honestly, that's the best coordinating. But here it is with the pink. That still goes, of course. And the purples with the purples, blues, and teals. I think it all goes. All right. And then we've got Hello Kitty Kimono, which is a pale purple one again. And again, I think it goes really nicely with the bows. Those colors go really nicely. It's a little paler versus a little bolder. And then that pink, of course, goes, goes good. All right. This one is um, Hello Summer. And this one is Hello Kitty. And it has like the little beach van and surfboards, flamingos, palm trees, all this cute stuff. Um, yeah, and the zipper pulls, you have a bow on one and you have your little sunglasses on the other and they're enamel ones, really cute. And then pink, I don't think that goes quite as well because this is almost a paler, peachier versus pink, but it still can go. And then you got that versus the paisley, not as well. And it's okay, so that doesn't match quite as well with them. This one matches less, but it's one of my favorites. I use this almost every time I go cruising. It is an older one that used to have two Hello Kitty heads as the zipper pulls. And I don't know the name of this one. Uh, I wanna say Anchors and Bows maybe, but I don't know the name and I couldn't find it anywhere. If I do find it, I'll put it below. But if you know it, please comment below. Um, I, I don't have much in it, but I do love that one. It goes with all my cruising stuff. And then the last one is Hello Kitty Bakery, which is uh, pinks and purples, of course, and it's got some of the peachy color. But I think that goes almost perfectly with the double zip ID. And let's see, with the paisleys, also pretty nice. And with the pink, yeah, super cute. So that's kind of why I brought them out, just to see what matches, what doesn't, what coordinates well or, or matches and all that. Um, so fun! Hello Kitty! Classics. Super cute and really cool. If you got some of the bigger bags, I'd love to hear about your thoughts on them. Does the pattern come out as nicely as you expected on the bigger items? They do also have multiple different blankets, the, the plush throws, and I didn't go with those. They do have the pom-pom one, and it has a matching pillow with pom-poms on it too. Again, I didn't go with that. I am maxed out on blankets. I have so many blankets. Um, most of them are not even out of the plastic because I only have one bed that I sleep in all the time and one guest bed. I don't need all these blankets. But I love them, so I buy them. And I did not in this pattern, but I think they were very popular. So there was one that had this and then one that had the pom-poms. Anyways, enough rambling. Hope you're doing great. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.